Hello everybody, today I will show you how to integrate OpenCV with Unity. For this claimant, there is an asset in Unity Asset Store uh, that you can use if you want to. But uh, for my case and for my uh, project, I found that uh, this method is, more, uh, method is more suitable for me because I wanted to use my own function and create my own function based on OpenCV. So now uh, what we need is uh, OpenCV installed. Uh, Visual Studio and Unity. In this method, I will show a very simple thing. You just opening this uh, image here. Uh, we will open it uh, in an open CV uh, window from Unity. So let's start coding. I prepared already a small code here mm, in the open CV part. Uh, just uh, for opening uh, image in a window it's very basic uh, self-explanatory there is uh, nothing new here uh, but as you can see Visual Studio here does not recognize uh, the open CV so what we can do is uh, go here and then in the property we can add the include just uh, pay attention here because we are using a 64 byte platform so we should select the platform and uh, for me i will be compiling the release so also we should select uh, the release configuration we can add here in additional and include the directories you can add your directories for your opencv uh, library so just browse and your opencv library uh, again i make sure i use the 64 bytes i have both on my laptop so here now in the linker part in general we can find additional library directories and here i should add the uh, I, I should add my libraries of opencv so again browse to your libraries now here libraries so i'm using the, the release so i will be checking this one if uh, you use the uh, debug configuration, you should uh, select uh, the debug folder. In the input, I will be adding the dependencies. Here, I already prepared like the name of dependencies for me. They are these two. Uh, just some information here, uh, 342 uh, is just uh, to say uh, like OpenCV3 uh, and uh, point 42 is just the version. In my case, when I compiled OpenCV uh, library, I uh, compile it in with using the OpenCV word, so I will not have all those uh, other dependencies like OpenCV core and etc. Maybe if you don't did it you compile uh, OpenCV like me, you will have other dependencies like uh, core and others. So probably you should be careful. Now click OK and apply. Uh, and as you can see here, like. Uh, Visual Studio recognize OpenCV. So, just we will build our solution. I will try to execute it, but we will have this issue like the application was not able to start correctly, which is normal because uh, we need uh, we need uh, the DLLs of OpenCV. So we should copy the DLLs and. Uh, we pass them in the release part of the our project and uh, we try to compile and we can see that uh, the car open in the OpenCV window this is the first part for uh, the part from OpenCV side but before we can go to the unity part we still some modification because uh, the method we will be using uh, to integrate OpenCV in Unity uh, it's a method based on a wrapper uh, and for that we need to create a DLL now we need to, to modify a little bit this code I already have uh, all the modifications written already so I will just copy paste the code that I will be using so this is my code uh, now we can see here the change that uh, uh, we'll be using like external C uh, into uh, uh, DLL export uh, SD call and uh, I just named it load here uh, so just a uh, name that I can use from the other side again uh, here I need to put uh, 
I need to put the link uh, to my image uh, so you can find it from here just go to your image and copy past uh, this part here it's uh, basic stuff the copy did not go away <laughs> apparently so just uh, go here and copy past uh, this part Uh, don't forget to change these changes here they are important then car dot ship now I have to go to properties again and I go to general and I have to choose the configuration type from exe file an executable file to a uh, dot dll a dynamic library file now i will again build my solution and it's successfully built and i can go uh, to the release part and i found my dll let me just uh, group by type in and find my dll here so this is my dll now we'll go to unity and we do something very basic just uh, create a game object here an empty game object uh, we will just uh, create a script script like uh, name it whatever i will just name it test uh, for our purpose so i open the script and uh, we'll find a very simple script uh, nothing new here it's just uh, uh, standard uh, script from uh, unity what I want to do first is to add my libraries, my DLLs to the project. So I import them. The thing that is most important to do here for my library, we just select this one. Okay. Uh, and select editor and uh, WSA player. Now for the first part, I need to use UWP, Windows Universal, Universal Windows Platform now i use that is 64 and uh, i should choose uh, 2i2 uh, cpp and uh, here for the platform i should explicitly say that it's like 64 and uh, for windows uh, this is uh, like necessary i don't know why but uh, when you don't do that uh, unity does not recognize the uh, dll i have uh, like code very basic code like uh, for unity and i will uh, show you now the difference so as you can see everything is uh, like simple code of uh, unity except like i added this internal static class dll add with the dll import and uh, for this one here it's another name of dll that i was doing some tests with it uh, earlier you should take the name of uh, your DLL so you just go here and copy past uh, the name of your DLL actually you don't even need to add the uh, DLL if you don't want to here it's the name of the function and here is just the class name and DLL.class you just save and Unity will compile everything and here it does not find any problem with that so uh, just I will save my scene then I will call, call uh, my uh, like uh, just play the scenario and there will be uh, like uh, the car uh, in open cv uh, window will be opened and uh, that's what we wanted i will uh, put down some link for other resources you can use and uh, that's it that's it for today and uh, happy coding